we're dealing with number three, dating. And the big question is, how can Christians, you guys heard about this, right? Somebody told you, I'm sure. Nice. All right. Here's the deal, right? Here's the deal, right? The question is, how do Christians date righteously? How do they maintain a zone of holiness and sanctity and protection? And so we had, uh, we had actually a guy in the church come up with this idea. This is a Christian zone of holiness uh, dating bubble accoutrement. And, and by the way, ladies, Dave actually is single, so he is available. <laughs> and uh, very nice. Um, and he is very safe to date. He will keep his hands to himself. Of course, he can't get into any trouble. So here's what we're doing tonight. We thought it'd be kind of fun and kitschy. If you have an idea of how you would use this for the gospel of Jesus Christ, yes, this is a ministry prop, then you can go ahead and uh, send an email to bubble at marcelchurch.org. Uh, that's not a person. That's actually an account. And then you could also text your suggestion to 95495 with the keyword bubble. And at the end of this service, whoever has the best idea of how they would use it, we will give it to you. We'll bring you on stage. You get to wear it. I'll take a photo with you. We'll put it on MySpace and Facebook and YouTube. And we'll make you into a very bizarre rock star for Jesus. And I'm hoping that one of you UW students will wear it to class tomorrow. Just wear it to school. And when the UW Daily shows up, just use it as a, as a good opportunity to talk about the Christian zone of holiness dating and the goodness of Jesus. So what do you guys think? Yeah or nay? Good? Bad? Pretty nice? Right on. Thanks, Dave. And again, ladies. Unbelievable. Give me bubble soup. Calvin Frey. Used to hate the church. May again today. Uh, lost a bet to his buddy. Was forced to come to Mars Hill after six months and was saved by Jesus. <laughs> That's nice. His buddy has, oh, now there's more. His buddy has a hot sister. Well, okay. Uh, they are now dating. The buddy is very protective of his sister. That's a good brother right there. If Calvin was blessed with a bubble suit, he would wear it in public places while with his girlfriend to make a bold statement for Jesus and be a little freakish. This assumes that she won't break up with him because of the suit. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, the buddy would also be at peace with the relationship, and the buddy suggested Calvin enter the bubble suit contest. This buddy seems to get his way a lot. Okay. Uh, is he ready? Okay, bring him out. You guys want to meet Calvin? And then we'll transition. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Calvin Frey, our grand prize winner. Very nice, Calvin. <laughs> All right, we'll get a nice shot for you, too. How about we pray for Calvin? He's in a zone of safety. He's ready to go on a hot time with his nice girl. You like it? Oh, I love it. It's great. You look really good. Thank and you're the right height. We were praying for a guy who wasn't 6'7". I mean, that would have just ruined everything. Uh, Father God, I pray for Calvin. I thank you that he has met Jesus here, and he's got a gal that he likes. And I pray that he would honor her and treat her with dignity and value and respect as a sister in Christ. For those of us, God, who are single, we pray for holiness in our relationship with you as well as others. And God, for those who already are over the line, I pray they would repent tonight if they need to even break off the relationship that they would. God, we've had some fun tonight. We've had some laughs. This is a quirky gag gift. But in the end, God, we really do want to walk in holiness. We want to keep our hands to ourselves. We want to honor you with our body, our thought, our words, our deed, our mind. And Lord Jesus, I thank you that in this city, we get to live in a way that is different than the rest of the city by your grace. And Jesus, again, thank you for saving Calvin. Thank you for bringing him here. Thank you for letting him be part of our fun time. And thank you, Lord Jesus, that he has a woman who he's honoring. And we pray that, Lord God, even though he looks goofy, she would find him attractive. Amen. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Calvin. <laughs> All right. We're going to give you a chance to respond. That's goofy. There's no mega church doing that in the country today. Um, what do you think? Was it too goofy or was it kind of funny? Kind of funny? All right. You're the 830 crowd. You guys all get up with the crack of dinner, so you guys are a little more easy going.